What is up guys, it is Nick and we are back and from the title obviously you can tell that we got shiny Growlithe. So this is not shiny Growlithe and as you can clearly see we're not using our normal party and you can clearly see how insane the level ups got. Um, I'll go over we got new evolutions, all sorts of stuff, we'll go over the Pokedex entries. We'll also talk about the craziness that was finding a shiny Growlithe, but when we load back out here, you can see my catch combo is at 35. I got to a catch combo of 89. 89 before I ran out of Pokeballs and I just couldn't do anything. And then one ran away and, and it was just tragic. That That's what happened. It was a tragedy. When we spawned out here, there it is. There's the shiny Growlithe. I am so excited. All right. So we gotta start this off. You can see I got like no items now because I had to sell stuff. And I'm not happy that I'm using this, but we got the we got that great throw. Gotta catch it. Gotta catch it. Just catch it. There we go. First try catch. So clutch. Let's go. Got all sorts of mighty candies. We got all sorts of mighty candies. I had like a thousand of them and then I sold them. But oh it's so hype. The 36, there it is. The shiny Growlithe. Oh, I'm so excited. And man, did I grind hard for this. Okay, so let's go into the party. So, here's what happened. I got the Pokemon to a level... Look at all of those, look at all those Growlithe. I sent a bunch to Professor Oak already here. I'll show you. Um... Send to Professor. And then... Send. Okay, so thank you, my boy. This will help a great deal in my research. Thank you for earning yourself a reward. There's the one mighty candy that he gives me. I've sent him 129 Pokemon so far. I believe 118 of them are Groutless. Um, so I did clean up the box a little bit here. I got rid of some of the Pokemon we didn't need in the box. Um... Did I send him a chance? Oh no, my one chancy is in the... Ooh, I thought I sent him a chancy for a second and I was going to be super sad about it. Um, where? Let's see here. Add this to the party. I don't like that there's not a good indicator for... If your Pokemon is shiny or not. But, there it is. There's the old shiny Growlithe. Who took took a while. That 89 chain took me about an hour. And I thought for sure I would find one, but I didn't, so I had to reset. And I didn't re I I saved because Um I was at a chain of like 60 and I was like, oh, maybe it'll let me save and then keep my chain, which it lets you save and keep playing, but you lose your chain when you reload. So I had to do a lot of selling which was a huge issue. But all of the Pokemon that we've been using, I got to a level where I felt was high, and so I stopped using them. And that's why we have like a level 40 Gloom and level 41 Clefairy, because you get some insane experience. I'll show you here real quick. Uh, but let me get everybody back into the party that we've been using. It's Chansey, and then the Starters. Wartortle... And Charmander. So go ahead and add them to the party. Let's go ahead and send to Professor Oak a bunch of these Charmanders. So this is much harder to do than it is when I have it handheld. Because we do not need our box just straight full of Growlithe. So you actually get a decent amount of candies back for this seed. Now I've sent him 138 Growlis. He'll give me some mighty candies. Not too big of a deal. Really probably will just sell them, but... Sent those off to him. Let's go through the Pokédex real quick. Because we got some new entries. I'll do my best to remember exactly what's the new entries. Okay, so first we have Gloom, and it smells incredibly foul. However, around one out of a thousand people enjoy sniffing its nose-bending or its nose-bending stink. 
That's an interesting little stat there. Uh, we got Golduck. It's long, slim limbs end in broad flippers. They are used for swimming gracefully in lakes. We also got Kadabra. Many odd things happen if this Pokemon is close by. For example, it makes clocks run backwards. And then, did I get any other... I don't think I did. No, we didn't. That, that Those were the evolutions. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, those were... Those were all the evolutions. So, now, let me show you, because we've emptied the bag now. So the medicine pouch, we got nothing in there. TMs, we're good there. Power-ups, nothing. We got the moonstone, that's it. The uh, battle pocket, nothing. Catching pocket, we just have some great balls and a few handful of berries left. Most of those berries we acquired from... Um, we acquired them from... Uh, catching uh, the, the, the Growlithe. Candy jar. You can see we got a bunch of candies now. So actually, I have all these Growlithe candies. We're going to... Oops, wrong Pokemon. We're going to give them to Growlithe, because obviously the shiny Growlithe is going to be a part of the team. So we're definitely going to max out the Growlithe. Because I have plenty of candies. I don't know what maxing it out is, but we are going to get there. Now, so one thing about good about farming these is by the time you're done farming them, you have plenty of candies to do this. Growlithe is becoming a beast. Look at that CP on this 422. It's an absolute monster this Growlithe is going to be. Wow, is there not a limit to this? Can you just power this up infinitely? This is kind of crazy. This Growlithe is going to be the greatest Pokemon ever. I also had to sell my rare candies. Uh, I needed that $10,000 that they gave. I don't think levels are a huge issue in this game, so... Wow, look at this Growlithe. It's going to become the god Growlithe. Oops, not War Turtle. Kind of insane. Okay, we're all out, we're all out of candies. That is that is insane. But you can see Pikachu's 28, Mew's 28, Chansey 26, 26 Charmeleon, 26 War Turtle, and the level 17 Growlithe. But let's see here. Let me fight this big Growlithe, and I'll show you exactly how much XP I need to hit the excellent throw to start. That's where you really maximize. And I got it. Now it needs to catch. Please catch so I can just show this as a demonstration. Thank you. Sometimes they break out of those and it's like a nightmare. But you can see, look at that, 812 experience points, 20 Mighty Candies, 14 Mighty Candy Larges, and 8 uh, Mighty Candy Extra Larges. So I've had one that gave me 2200 experience or something like that. It's just absolutely insane. You can get a, some crazy experience out of this. But yeah, catch combo 37 now. We'll be the end of the catch combo. We, we, we won't be... I don't need to catch any more of these. Your catch combo actually can have um, effects on the uh, spawn rate of other shiny Pokemon. So that's an interesting thing. Uh, for me. So what I was doing is I was doing those and if stuff that wasn't a shiny or wasn't a Growlithe showed up, I'd come down here, sit in this bush for about a second and then walk back up here. Completely resets. Uh, and also I have lures on. They increase the, uh, they like, they like cut in half the shiny odds. I think it cuts them from like one in 512 if you have a chain of 30 to like one in 313 or something like that. So not exactly half, but it cuts it down. All right, so one thing I wanted to do, you can have one Pokemon walk behind you. I want it to be my Growlithe. Let's take it out of the ball. Can you take multiple Pokemon out of the ball? No, okay. 
I want my shiny Growlithe. I don't know how much shiny hunting we will do throughout this playthrough, but we will do some. And like, like just look at that. That's awesome. It's going to be so sweet when we have shiny Arcanine. I'll probably hunt shiny Dratini. If I find a place where starters and I can actually find the starters, I'll probably hunt a shiny Charizard. We don't want any more lures because we're not shiny hunting anymore. But yeah, I am super excited. Like I said in the last episode, if you didn't see it, where we kind of prepped to find shiny Growlithe. Um, I, uh, I don't really shiny hunt all that often. Uh, I got into it in Oris, and then I didn't play Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, really. really. I didn't play Sun and Moon all that. I just didn't like those games. I own them all. I just don't really like them. They weren't my favorite Pokemon games. I just didn't play them that much. Um, I did have to come here, and I did battle this dude. Um, for better or for worse, I did battle him to get some money, because I really, I truly needed money in a bad way. Uh, that's all I did here, is battle him. He had, like, a rat attack. He, he had garbage. I one-shot him with... I one-shot him. It was it was easy. It was really inconsequential. Man, this is awesome, having that shiny Growlithe follow me around. If the Pokemon you're walking with suddenly stops as if it's surprised, that means it's found uh, an item for you. Uh, this guy's on guard dirty. He wants a tea. I have some blueberry pomegranate tea. That he could have. Okay. So we gotta keep going. I'm not gonna catch anything on this route if, uh, if I don't have to. I'll keep my chain. I'll catch a Growlithe here and there. Uh, but I believe you can leave the route and your, uh, your chain does not go away. Alright, so Shantru. I'm assuming this is like a level 15 Shantru or some crap. Yeah, level 15. Quick Attack might finish it in one shot. Eh, no, actually. Stayed alive, but it's going to use Sand Attack, which is not the attack it should have used. Not a good decision, Shantru. At the end of this episode, because I kind of want something to do tonight... Um, because I, I don't think I'm going to record a bunch of episodes tonight. Uh, I kind of want to record these kind of organically. I don't want to record a bunch in advance. Um, at the end of this episode, we're going to decide on another shiny Pokemon, maybe, that I'll hunt off camera, and then we'll come back and start an episode when I find one. Uh, I really enjoy that. So we got a Nidoran. Keep it in. I need to figure out if the game save data on the Switch for a game is on the cartridge, like it always has been in every Nintendo game, really, or if it's saved separately and it's just that game save and that's it. Because I'm going to do a mono-type block, I think, on my Let's Go Eevee, and so I'm going to need to know... I'm going to need to know that, because then I won't have a game to play solo. That's that's the only thing I'm saying. Excuse me, this is a private conversation. Because if if they're locked to the to the device, I can't... I, I would actually buy another Let's Go uh, Pikachu, because then I could play solo. Hmm. I doubt I need to use Thunderbolt. We're just going to use Thundershock. Yeah, Thundershock wipes it. Because I kind of want a game where I can shiny hunt on my own. And then just maybe make videos where I've caught a shiny Pokemon. I might do a shiny um, playthrough. Where in order to, to uh, catch a new Pokemon, it has to be a shiny. I feel like that might be a fun playthrough. So in order to add the Pokemon to the party, it'd be shiny. That'd be a fun thing to go with the mo with the, instead of the monotype. The monotype would be fun, but I'd probably do something in order to use EV, so it'd have to be water, electric, or fire, because I don't believe any of the other types are in this game. Okay. I have not fought this dude yet. 
I've never seen you around. Are you good? I will say with the fact, especially because Pokemon can run away and that is not what you want when you're shiny hunting because it destroys your chain, you definitely do not want to be playing with this unless you're perfect aim every time right down the middle because otherwise you want to use a handheld. It's the easiest to line it up and get excellent throws. It just is. It's the best, hands down. Sailor Elijah, you're too good. $960. We definitely need to get our money back now, so definitely want these trainers to pay up. Alright, let's go ahead and fight one of these Growlithes. If a Growlithe would spawn. There's a Growlithe. Come here. Come here, buddy. I just want to see if my chain carries over to another route. Actually, getting decent at this. You kind of just got to let it fly out of your hand. So that's the question. Does the chain carry over to a new route? So much XP. Alright. Beautiful. Chansey's the next one out. So I do have one last spot left for a shiny. I might just catch a shiny to have a shiny. That's always an option. Doesn't always have to have a specific reasoning behind it. I might go for a shiny Chansey. I do really like Chansey. Ah, it kept the catch combo, so the catch combo carries over from route to route, so we're still at a 38 catch combo. I guess it makes sense. There's still Growlithe spawning out the wazoo. This would probably be the easier way to find shinies because you can... I can just drift up and down this route to reset, and it'll spawn. So I come up here, wait for some spawns. Especially if I had a lure. You just come up here with a lure, and then you can check here, wait for the spawns, come down here, wait for the spawns. Either come down here and wait for the spawns, or come way over here to reset it. Come back over here, check for the spawns. Go up here, check for a new spawn. All the way over here, check for the new spawns. Got all sorts. It's still spawning a literal crap ton of Corrales. Oh. Okay. I'm getting better with this thing. We're not perfect, but we're getting better. Get our crazy experience. Oh, we didn't get that much that time because I didn't catch it on the first throw. I messed up a throw. That always kind of screws everything up. Ho 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 ho, Pikachu's learning thunder. Yeah, we're definitely getting rid of... Uh, it's pretty fast. I'm going to get rid of Quick Attack. Get rid of Quick Attack. Learn Thunder. Charmeleon to 27. I'm waiting for that Charmeleon to learn Flamethrower. But we can go ahead and advance here. I'm not really looking to find a shiny. And I don't have a lure on, so it's going to... It's going to limit the odds of the shiny by a lot. So I want to walk right down the middle here. Get that double battle. Huh? You want to talk to me? Oh, I don't get the double battle? That sucks. I definitely wanted the double battle out of that. Camper Jeff. Grass vs. Lightning. The odd matchup. I'm just going to hit it with a thunder. I bet it one-shots with thunder. Oh, ho, ho. Ooh, ooh, thunder is a... Ooh, that's a really cool attack. Man, the more I play this game, the just more I love this game. Camper Jeff, you were pathetic. This stinks. I couldn't beat your challenge. 300 bucks, two great balls. All right. Me? Well, okay, I'll play. Picnicker Isabel. 
Ooh, a Charmander. Means it's not level 16. Otherwise, it would be a Charmeleon. Thundershock should take care of it. Those starter Pokemon sometimes have some higher boosted inherent stats. Sometimes attacks you think would just mop the floor with them don't. Things just didn't work out. 300 bucks, two great balls. Alright, so we have arrived at Vermilion City. Well, hello, Officer Jenny. I just caught a Squirtle that was always getting into mischief. I think it needs a good trainer to set it straight. Are you going to give me the Squirtle? Wow, you've caught 199 Pokemon? You must be a great trainer. I have a favor to ask you. Would you take care of this troublesome Squirtle? Sure. Okay, please, g please take good care of Squirtle. Thank you for the Squirtle, even though I don't really need the Squirtle. Tuck that Squirtle away. Okay, so what do we got here? Okay, so Vermilion City is the port. Just a Machop playing out here. So this is like a Pokemon Park. My Growlithe is very happy that you, that we won the recent battle. What are you doing out here, homie? This is my land of all of it. Er, this is my land. All of it. I own everything in the square area here. I'm having my Pokemon use Bulldoze to prepare the site so I can build something here. I really hope that later in the game, when we come back, that's completed. That would be a really cool feature, in my opinion, for the game. Alright, into the Pokemon Center. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes, I would. I wish the Sprite was the shiny Pokemon. I really wish the Sprite was the shiny Pokemon. Kind of annoys me that they don't have the Sprite as the shiny. I'm trying to think of the next. Other than the starters, not going to get a shiny Mew. But if you're new to training Pokemon, you should give my place a little visit. It's an empty house, but I've rented it so many people can use it as a place to gather and share tips. But, uh, no, my point is, is that I, other than the starters and whatnot, I need to find my next one that I really want. Pokemon Fan Club. This, there's the Vermilion City Gym. Yo, champ in the making! Beyond this point is the Vermilion City Gym. But you'll need to chop the tree down first. You don't know how to chop a tree? Hmm. Well, as I recall, the captain of the SSN was an expert at chopping trees. Okay, so we gotta go to the SSN. going to assume down there is so here's the port so this is route 11 what kind of pokemon do we have on route 11 something spawn i just want to see what's out here i'll grab this item i guess i just want to see what spawns out here on route 11 why is nothing spawning in pokemon hello hello Chansey. There's Chanseys on every freaking route. It's insane. I love Chansey, but enough Chansey. I want to see a new Pokemon. But we just have freaking Raditas and... I'll grab this item, I guess. Ooh, a lure. Nice. Those are like 400 bucks, and they're definitely something I need. Pidgey. Ooh, a Drowsy. Here we go. New Pokemon. I don't want a shiny Drowsy, but... We'll catch the Drowsy for the Pokedex. And this will break my chain, so I will not have my chain anymore. That's fine. But hoo hoo hoo, shiny Growlithe. I am pumped. Really, Drowsy? Really? Really, bro? Great throw. Caught ourselves the drowsy. Super excited to find, though, another Pokemon that I potentially would be interested in chaining. 
Maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do Chiny Chansey. I, I don't really want to say that, but, I mean, out of all the Pokemon, we are carrying Chansey with us. It's a good, I like Chansey as a Pokemon, like the concept of using Chansey in battle. Uh, what is this? Diglett's Cave. Let's peek in Diglett's Cave real quick. I'm assuming there's just a bunch of Diglett's here. Well, I'll be. Did you know this huge long tunnel, it was dug entirely by Diglett? All right, let's hop down here real quick. All right, so we got Diglets. Ooh, we got Machops. This path is closed because Diglett dug too many holes. While we're filling the holes, why don't you go challenge the Vermilion City Gym? Okay. Let's catch a Diglett, I guess. We can add Diglett to the Pokédex. Did I read off Dr Drowsy's? I don't think I read off Drowsy's Pokédex entry. That's a my... Okay. What? The Noodle Arm throw. The final year Peyton Manning throw. Bum. Bum. Boom. Alright. Diglett. Alright. Diglett stayed at it. It prefers dark places. It spends most of its time underground, though it may pop up in caves. Like this one just did. It popped up in the cage. Or in the cage. In the ca- Oh, there's a Doug Trio. I gotta catch that. But we gotta go read the Pokédex entry on Drowsy because I was slacking and didn't pay attention and read it. Alright. If you sleep by it all the time, it will sometimes show you dreams that it had eaten in the past. Well, that is interesting. Alright, Doug Trio. Catch this and I don't have to do anything related to... <laughs> Doug Trios or Diglets. Okay. Um, let me use a Raspberry. Soften it up a little bit. A little bit off to the left. Not a terrible throw. And. Eh. Okay. Not gonna go quietly, are you, Doug Trio? Oh, really? You're gonna attack? That's good. Shrink again. There we go. Oh, the weird noodle throw, dude. Why is it doing that? And then I, like, overcompensate. I don't know. It's so, so freaking weird. And then now it pops out in one second. Alright. Alright. Hit it with the hesitation. Not the great throw, but no raspberry this time. <sighs> Still not gonna get it. I have a feeling it's getting close to running. And the whiff. No greater. Uh, man, that's. Eesh. Oh my gosh. There's, there it is, but no raspberry this time. There we go. Got it, finally. Stupid Doug Trio. Growlithe to 19, beautiful. I need to probably level up Growlithe separately, make sure it catches back up to the pack. Data added the poker decks. A team of triplets that can burrow to a depth of 60 miles. It's reported that this triggers an earthquake. 60 miles? Wow. Alright, let's head back out of Diglett Cave. We can't do much there. We could head to Route 11, but we don't need to. So we've got the. We got Vermilion's. Oh, what'd you find, buddy? It's just taking a scent of the flowers. That's kind of cool. That's a, that's something like a dog would do. That's that's actually pretty awesome. So is this the SSN out here? Aha! 
So we showed him our SSS or SS ticket. Yep, that'll do. Welcome aboard the SSN. Oh, and that's not all. You're the 100 guests to join us aboard the SSN today. So here you go. Please enjoy this breezy outfit as you feel the salty air on your skin. Ooh, I got the sailor set. Thank you, my dude. I do not want to set out just yet. Let's go take a look at the Pokemart here. See if we got anything new. Got $2,000. Uh, nothing new in the store. We do need to sell some of these candies. I, I don't need all these candies. I don't need 525 Mighty Candies. We're just going to sell all the Mighty Candies. That'll give us $5,000. And uh, so now we have we have the XL candies and the large candies still. So let's hold on to those. What I want to do, I think I'm going to hold on to it now. So we didn't find anything to shiny hunt. Um, I probably will just not mess with shiny hunting anything off camera. Um, obviously, when the next episode starts, you will know whether or not there is a shiny hunt going on in the episode. Or if I did a shiny hunt off camera. But right now, I don't have any real plans to. I mean, there's Raticates, Drowsies, Chanseys. There's nothing exciting here. I should probably catch this Raticate because I'm never going to want to. Raticate, get, what are you doing? Get, get away from this dude. Raticate, you're killing me. What are you doing? There you go. Run away. Come here. Come here. I don't want to actually trigger any of these trainers yet. Okay. Final Pokemon of the episode. And I got a Noodle Arm throw. There we go. I guess I just have to put the absolute craziest fire throw on this. Otherwise, it's a Noodle Arm. All right, eradicate, caught. It's another Pokemon for the decks. Its hind feet are webbed. They act as flippers, so it can swim in rivers and hunt for prey. All right, so that's going to do it for the episode. In the next episode, we will board the SS Anne. Um, whether or not I start the next episode with a shiny Pokemon or not, we will start the next episode with the, or we will do the SSN in the next episode. Just might have a few seconds of, might have a few seconds of something else, but, uh, overall we'll, we'll just have, we'll just have the SSN in the next episode, which I think is a pretty cool area. Don't actually remember too much, but, uh, yeah, we got ourselves a shiny Growlithe. Uh, in this episode. I'm super happy about it. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you guys all in the next episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu.